Hi, Hamza here and welcome to this other tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create mega menus in Elementor for free. And hey, uh, if it's your first time to this channel, I hope people just like you establish a digital presence from scratch. And so don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss out on new content when I push it out. And let's dive straight in. And this is how it's going to look like. For example, if I hover over services, this is what happens. Unlike when I hover over home or under articles. And the same time, like for example, if I hover over the frequently asked questions section, this is what happens. So it could be, you know, a number of different sections within this other section. It could be blog posts, it could be an image gallery and a lot more so let's head in straight and see how we can create a mega menu just like any of these two so you need three things one a theme that works well with Elementor and uh, Elementor Pro and this plugin called clever mega menu for Elementor it's free of charge and uh, you can easily find it within the plugin repository of WordPress by doing a simple search of clever mega then it will come uh, straight through just like this so you just install and activate and it will come just right down here in your sidebar in the dashboard so when you click over here it will take you to this kind of setup however there are things that you need also to consider for example this plugin gives you the ability to create a skin for your menu for example on the default on the default skin there are so many other options you can uh, you can set up. For example, um, when you look on the general text, how it will look like. For example, the normal and on hover, how it will look like. And for the top menu items, and you can do a lot other customizations. However, I'm using the default skin and I didn't make any changes there. To create our mega menu, first we need to create our menu. And by creating the menu, we head over to Appearance, Menus, and then say Create New Menu. And then straight, you can start creating your menu. And I'll name our menu Mega Demo. And then I say Create Menu. Then I can add a number of pages. I hope you know how already to create pages in Elementor. And I'll add a couple of custom links just to have a number of other menu items. So I'll say um, contact, add to menu, I would say um, articles, add to menu, and maybe I'll add one more other thing, for example, services, and then I add to menu. For this case, I will, uh, I will select it to be as our primary menu. And don't forget to select this option. It appears once you have the Clever Mega Menu plugin enabled. And this section is the Clever Mega Menu for Elementor settings. So once you enable this and choose the skin that you, you have created, in this case I'm using the default one, you save. So once you save, you'll have something like this so that you can easily uh, start editing your menu. And this is how it looks like. So we have our mega demo, the menu we have created, and uh, we can now start and uh, do the edits we want. So we want our home to be the very first, and then we have our about, the articles, services, and contact. So where do we want our mega menu to appear? We will still have our articles having a mega menu and the service having a mega menu. So once we have our menu, and we have also enabled our clever mega menu at the settings so we can just come over to any of these items and we click on the blue rectangle and that will get us into creating a mega menu for that specific menu item so we are in here now for our service for our services and these are the options we are having so this plugin gives you a couple of other options like the flyout, uh, panel settings, and uh, 
for example the hiding the title for example when i had the title for the service it won't appear and then also like creating the mega menu this will bring this will bring the fly out and then we can start creating our mega menu and a couple of other settings for example let me just enable the mega menu and we are here so once this is enabled we can create our sections and we can add as many elements as we want um, just like normally when we are building your elementor pages and a lot more other things however i have already created my template for the services and i'm just going to import that over to this fly out and how do i get my templates in here i just come over here to templates and then i go back i go direct to my templates and i can select the template i want to import and then i'll just say no so that i can just have my settings just the way they are so this is the template i'm having for the services and i can now just delete out what i don't want just like normally when you're building anything with your elementor pages so you can just say delete delete um i don't need this i delete i don't need this i delete so far this is what we have and uh, once someone has come to our page this is how it will look like for example uh, let me first update and then we can go preview how our menu is looking like first to have our menu the way we want it we we need to first also create the header and the, how to create a header in Elementor is a tutorial already done and I'll link it up there but just in case you don't know how to create a header you just go to templates and then theme builder and then you can say new and under new you can just select the header so you can just tap on new for example new and then say um, you select the header once you select the header you name the header that you are creating so in this case um, I'll just link up a video that shows you how to create a header that I already made but I, now I just want to show you how we can now uh, enable our header that we created already so which is called the mega demo and that will make our menu active so now we have our menu that we just created so what we just need is to update our header element and once we have our header element updated we can just come over here select or refresh our page to have our menu reflected and once we have our menu uh, now reflected so we have our services menu item having a mega menu enabled and having elements right there so what we need to do now is to do a couple of uh, tweaks to make sure that everything within here is appearing as we want it to appear like I want it to be something like this just like this and to achieve this we are going to make it to go full width and once we make it to go full width we can do a little bit of tricks to do with the padding so that we have everything uh, looking nice neat and sweet how do we do that we head back to our mega menu uh, which is which is for the services this is where we are and what we need to do at the moment is one to select the section the whole section and we enable the section to stretch once we enable that section to stretch i also enable the full width because i want the whole of this flyout to to fill out the whole width of the canvas on the other hand i'm going to reduce a couple of uh, the padding here and how do i do that i select the section itself and i reduce the padding i'll just make it zero because i don't need too much of that so so once i have it at zero and then then i'll also need to uh, move it a little bit up so that we don't have any blackish thing around here so what i need to do is very simple i just need to uh, move the margins to the negatives to have to move our mega menu up and this is how i do that so now we have our mega menu negative 20 up in the margins and then now we can just hit update and see how that looks like just hit uh, refresh and see how our flyout for the 
mega menu item under services looks like this looks nice uh, nice and sweet compared to how it was earlier on let's create um, a mega menu item for the about page so to create that we just hit on that blue rectangle and it just brings us straight to this canvas so to enable our mega menu uh, for the about we just hit mega menu and then it's enabled and i think i'll need to add um i'm going to add an icon for this menu item just something like this or something like this so i just come over to our menu and i select for example about i can just randomly select any of this about and then i have uh, our menu item here uh, our menu icon selected and then we just head straight down here to our canvas area so that we can start working on our mega menu for the about page we can also begin from scratch by creating the columns and adding a number of our elements within this section that are going to appear under our about page but i won't do that because i've already created a small template that i'm going to use for this about page so i'm just going to select one of my templates which i've already created for this i'm just going to insert this and then um, our about mega menu items and this is how it looks like so <clears throat> out of the box the section i created is like this but uh, this for the menu would be too much so i'm going to do a little bit of uh, tweaks to reduce everything that is in here um, i'm going to remove all these texts within here Okay, so now it has reduced also in the height. So I'm going also to do um, a little bit of reduction for the padding top and bottom. Top zero. Same here. Looks like it's having zero ready. I'm going now to reduce the padding for these items within here. And that takes us straight to zero for all the items so I can just add a little bit of padding at the top like two and then also down here like two so that it's not too congested so um the other thing we need to do I want this uh, mega menu to be stretched across the whole canvas and uh, to be full width so how do i do that i just select that already i stretched it and it's also full width so let's update and see how it looks like once we update just come over to our main page and we see how it looks like cool so we have our menu icon already appearing and our menu item there and this is how it looks like once you hover over so this is beautiful so we can now do a couple of other tweaks like now reducing like removing this black background that is appearing here and how do we do that is by coming over here we move the whole section a little bit up i'll move by probably 20 negative and then let me see how that looks like I reload the page and boom we no longer have the black background appearing under our menu uh, so guys this is how we can create mega menus in WordPress and Elementor Pro for free using this free plugin called clever mega menu for Elementor uh, we have our about page which is having a mega menu and our services a menu item having the mega menu i hope this tutorial brought you value and that now you can create mega menus in elementor for free and if you like this video don't forget to smash the like button and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you don't miss out on new content when i push it out thank you so much and see you in my next video